hi how are you um i am here again for my second or first episode of the distracted crafter this is me monica i live in south carolina i have two children and two stepkids they're all my children of course but only two live with me at the moment and i have a dog whose name is max i have a gecko his name is Dragalorian. He's pretty bad. No, he's pretty good. The dog is pretty bad. And I was trying to get a bunny. And my husband said, first he said he didn't care. And then he said no. And my friends were like, you know, you have a blue healer. That's going to be hard. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. So I had to say no to the bunny. And at the same time, I saw this post by the Petit Knitter. I don't know if you guys follow her on Instagram, but she posted these beautiful socks with bunny patterns on it and I was like that's my sign I need to get a bunny but I guess I don't so I took the adult decision to not adopt a bunny even though I really wanted to um, so how are you guys today this was a good day so far um, except my kid got sick so I had to take off work to pick him up and come home he's doing just fine right now watching cartoons and doing that and eating cookies i don't know if i should be giving him cookies since he has some kind of stomach bug but that's all he wants to eat so that's what he's doing downstairs and i am here just showing off my what is this the cinnabar by andrea maury i used spin cycle and loft this color away is called um something about steel i will have the colors on the show notes but yeah this was very fun to knit i started it probably three years ago and i just finished it i started it right after the pattern came out and me and my friends went on a um, knitting trip just a little um retreat for the three of us we stayed in a jerk it was really fun i have not yet blocked it because i'm scared i know that sounds silly but i don't have this long um cables not cables the wires and then i want it to go like that so i'm just waiting either to order the wires or i really don't know what i'm waiting for and i think it looks good just as it is but i do know i have to block it but i'm just enjoying it for now and yeah that's what i'm working on uh as for my um dyed yarn i have been working on some new colors and old colors so a lady contacted me on instagram because she wanted to knit this sweater in these colors that i hadn't dyed in quite a while and i was like you know what those colors would be really good for some sock sets and while i was dying i mixed some other colors in and then i got a little festive with with christmas so i decided to dye some christmas colorways for people to be able to choose some sock sets in christmas colors um the colors that this lady chose are um this purple this purple is called jasmine and i will have it in sock twist and i will have it in normal sock and she also ordered my big tub of yarn. She also ordered this one, it's called Blueberry Smoke. It's got like some purple skin, um, specks and blue and pink. And she ordered a blue one that's one of my favorites, my favorite colors, it's called Jocassi. and she ordered a gray one but i didn't dye much of that one those are the colors she ordered and so with that in mind i looked up uh winter jewels and those are some really pretty flowers and then i got inspired to do some more colors with um with the tones of those flowers and i found out about this flower called hellebore and i might be pronouncing it incorrectly but i then created this color which is like a black with green and blue and purple and i was just in love with it when it was in the dye pot and i want to make like a shawl out of it because i feel like i need something dark to wear i don't have something more to wear around my neck 
so I made this one and then I thought it would be really fun to pair up with any of the other minis to make socks for those that like to do that and I think it goes well with other colors there's also this green that I dyed so this one I dyed it as a contrast color to my Christmas colorway that's called Christmas is so fetch because I was inspired by the Mean Girls movie and I said well this one goes well with it and I named it stop trying to make fetch happen after my friend Sam that was very fun so that's what I've been up to and dying I feel like I need to put those colors on the Etsy shop pretty soon and I will do that um December 1st and maybe by the time this is out those colors are already out in the in the shop um I wanted to show you a work in progress that I've been knitting on and it's so soothing because of the base that I'm using and that project is the um fade and lace by one of my all-time favorites and it's Hohi Locatelli. I really truly love everything she makes and like just her whole personality and her person. She's just pretty amazing and I, she comes off and I am sure I know she's like very sweet and she's always looking for ways to um to be kind which we need more of that um nowadays because she's always coming up with free patterns or with ways for people to knit um or learn to knit and like even her business her bags business i know she uses the products products from argentina and the artisans that live there anyways i just think she's amazing so this is my fade and lace um, pullover and it uses five different colors because you will have five stockinette um lines or stripes and then you will have five lace um sections and she knitted hers with a lace mohair but i don't love mohair i really love suri alpaca which is this one and it also has a nice halo but it's way much more soft to the touch and it's not scratchy at all and it doesn't give me any kind of allergy which is great so that's what i'm working on and i am just loving this um this is just stuck in it and then you get to do um some lace and then you change to another color and you do some another version of uh, lace with the either mohair or suri alpaca whatever you choose to work with and so far these are my colors this is called amelia and this colorway was inspired by my friend danny's um wedding picture amelia is the name of her grandmother i was making a um collection of colorways inspired by grandmothers either my grandmothers my grandfather or grandmothers of friends and people that just told me like a story about their grandmother and that's how this collection came about it's it's been out for i think i did this four years ago maybe and then sometimes i just keep adding to the collection so yeah so this is amelia and then this one down here is um, I don't want to be wrong. I think I think this one is Rosario and Rosario is a colorway inspired in the city Rosario of Argentina um, Because Hoji is from Argentina. I decided to make a whole collection on that and for that I um, I read a book it's called Las viudas de los Jueves, which means Thursday's widows and it's about these ladies that meet up on Thursdays in Argentina and it talks about Buenos Aires and its surroundings and then I started watching things from Argentina and Rosario is a city in Argentina that's also one of the biggest cities there and I just came up with that color and I really like it and hold on because I have the other colors 
the other colors that I'm using for my sweater. I might probably put that, put that down so I don't fight for it. Is going to be this one. So this is going to be my next color. So we have Amelia and then we have Rosario. Then I'm going to have Amelia and this is inspired in my own grandmother. And then we're going to have this one, which is Mama Hen. It's going to go like that. And then it's going to fade into this one, which is Merienda, which again, it's another color from that Argentina collection. And it's going to go like that. So that's going to be the bottom of my sweater. And I'm just really excited to get that out. Uh, of course, it's going to take me forever because that's how I knit and I'm okay with it. And I, I like to start projects all the time. And I don't care if I knit them in three years. It used to bother me. But it really doesn't bother me anymore. I understand that I like the process of knitting. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no. As I am showing you this sweater, I just pulled the needle and I'm losing all my stitches. That's okay. I can put them back on in the middle. Um, so yeah, I am the whip lady. And it's okay. It's okay to have 40 projects or so in my needles. Because I know that at some point I will finish them. And those that I don't finish, I just take them apart and reuse the yarn for something different because that's the beauty of uh, knitting, that you can always make something. I've seen people that even when the sweater is completely done and finished, if for some reason they don't like it, they can just pull that strand. They pull it, they wash the yarn, and they make something new. And you know what? That is great. That is really great because if um, you were to build a house and then you decide that you don't like it it's not like you can take it apart and redo a new one right i guess you can save some of the some of the materials but not all of them so i just put all those stitches back in here so yeah um those are the projects that i have going on and those are the colorways that are out there right now and um, I wanted to talk to you about that and about my process and how much I enjoy it. And I feel like right now I'm just rambling and rambling and rambling. So let me turn around and find something that I wanted to show you as well. Um, like for example, knitting, right? I started this call and I was very enthusiastic about it when it started. This is like last Christmas. Skein Deer Knits. Skein Deer. What is her name? Skein Deer Knit. Anyway, she came up with this pattern. And these are some color work mittens. And they, it was a cow, like a mystery knit along. And I was very excited about it. But after I did... The cuff is all cabled. I used um, tuku wool for this one. And then it has this around here. It's called Latvian braid. And I don't know why. After I made, like, well, I wasn't, because you have to do two. The first one I made, I was like, ooh, this is so, like, interesting and fun to do. But when I made the second one, I was like, I don't know if I like this. And now that I look at it on the screen, I think I like it again. So I might take this back and work on these mittens. What do you think? Should I just take them apart or redo them? I might just redo them. I mean, I might just keep knitting on them because they're, I have a cough. So yeah. I should make like a whole video of just all the, works in progress that I have but I think that would be a lot and some people might get overwhelmed with me but yeah so these are my colors for these you were supposed to choose two colors that were high contrast with each other and these are my two colors and then one color that was like pop and so that's my red and I think because it was a mystery knit along, but of course, it's not it's not a mystery anymore because it's from last year. I think it's like a deer. 
I don't know. I even forgot about it. And I do have the pattern here, but it doesn't show much of the color of work. No, it's just the cuff, but it's called Midwinter mid Deer. And it's by Skein Deer Knits. Yeah, Skein Deer Knits. That's her name. She also has a podcast. And it's really cool. She's a doctor now, I think. I believe. So, yeah. That's been my process this week. I've been working on a test knit that I... I'm not sure if I can show it to you, but I'll show it to you whenever it's ready and finished. And I've been working on my fatal lace. And I have been wearing my knits because it's getting chilly down here in South Carolina. So that's fun. It's always fun when it gets chilly and then you can start using your knits. Um, I wonder what you guys are up to. You can write on the comments below if you've been up to any new projects in knitting or any other craft and also if there's a project that you feel like you're not sure if you want to take apart or keep if you've done that in the past or not if you are a process knitter like i am or if you're a product knitter um i would love to hear from you so i guess this is the time when i say adios i will see you soon on the next episode of the distracted crafter you can find me on ravelry as yarn experiments you can find me on instagram as the distracted as the the underscore distracted crafter all one word you can also find me as yarn experiments and i would love to hear from you bye